present in the Bioinformatics Technology Innovator Award. We should present it annually in recognition of extraordinary achievements in bioinformatics technology development that shows strong promise of potential impact in biology, medicine, and biomedical optics. The award targets achievements that span disciplines that may include elements of basic research, technology development, and clinical translation. Jixing Chen of Boston University is the 2024 recipient of the SBA Bioinformatics Technology Innovator Award. Jishin is presented with the award for the invention and commercialization of mid-infrared photothermal microscopy that allows highly sensitive dye-free bone-selective imaging of living cells and organisms. Please join me in congratulations, congratulations Jishin Chen. Here is 2015 January 2 a.m. Belong got the lip signal 
So that's how we get started. We spent another two years with a high performance mid microscope for the IR company and the visual probing. The idea is that IR powers IR can look local change of back index or thermal expansion of the particle. And then you can detect this thermal impact through a visual beam in the dark field microscope. This method for the first time allowed to visualize chemical bond in a living cell volumetrically at a sub-micron spatial resolution. In 2017, I moved from Purdue to Boston University at Boston. We have substantially built this technique in three ways. The first method is called confocal scan beam, in which we scan the beam or the sample and the bio method called a talking free video rate. A single power visualization we can do video rate beam. The same speed at confocal fluorescence. The second method is called a white field beam, in which this camera is approached. You can match the size of IR and visible for high super measurement. And by using like interferometric metric scanning, we have reached the fingerprinting of individual virus with a diameter less than one to ten meter. The third approach is a computational approach with a collaboration with my video colleague Lei Qing and the Slim Arnold with IB team. Produce a 3D map of the back index. At pause IR modulation, we can produce a 3D and global image of cells, tissues, and C elegans. More recently, we saw the pressure is photosynthetic reporting in the cycle window. In this spectral cycle window, we have enzyme, we have nitra, so we have very strong IR absorption. But a chemical bond is only one astron inside, which is one million times smaller than a fluorescent dye. And it can be used to track biomolecules with minimal perturbation. More importantly, we can use this chemical bond for functional imaging. In this very recent paper, we made a jump from imaging chemicals to imaging chemistry. So, this is an example of protein phosphorylation. When the phosphate is removed, this nitra group, nitra chemical bond will shift to do this charge redistribution. So, we can see the two forms of the same molecule, substrate and product, to map. The chemistry in living cells. Because the unlike fluorescent very broad, the vibration peaks are narrow, so we can do multiplex imaging. In this case, we can use this uh, nitro code to do uh, the phosphatase and the caspase at the same time in the brain tissue size. In the time domain, you will see a big difference. Vibration mm -hmm. excitation only produces heat, so you can do quantitative imaging over time without any photobation. Instead, the fluorescence suffers from photobreak in less than 10 seconds. Although we think of Roma boss, we recently came back to Roma. In SIS, I asked a video. You made Roma gain and Roma loss, but there is any difference. Instead, stable Roma can be considered too good on vibrational excitation process and dump energy to the molecule. 15 years ago, we failed in this stable Roma photo process by Cascade. But recently, we found that this photothermal effect is substantial and it can produce a large signal allowed to see this very small feature like a single membrane in a living cell. So, this allows the Roma active modes. Well, back in October 2016, that's one month after we published the big paper, I gave a speech at a science meeting. I was very fortunate that there are two gentlemen in the audience, in Downs and Roshan Shetty. After my speech, they came up to me and asked me for a coffee. And during the coffee, they said, We want to convert your paper into a product. And in October 2017, Mirage announced. Mirage means that the signal is from change of refract index. That's exactly the contrast mechanism of our technique. In 2018, photosymbol spectroscopy talk was formed to fully commercialize active photosymbol IR spectroscopy in Santa Barbara. Over the past five years, one of the variety systems have been delivered to the world wide. Uh, this includes the US, Canada, Europe, China, Japan, Singapore, and Australia. This entrepreneurial success has enabled a very broad application of our technology <coughs> and has generated close to 400 articles based on this Google search of EIR. This has produced a very broad application far beyond my own research. So I just give you a few examples. For example, a group in Belgium using the Mirage to study the painting and the steel. A 
COVID is greater than our technique to do super to the AI into Android and other disease. The COVID 19 China is our technique to detect nanoplastic in environmental science. And more recently, a group in Yale University using the Perot to study lipogenesis in living cells. So, why web transformer thermal can be very sensitive? Because this couples quantum mechanics with Newton mechanics. Web transient contacts at the lifetime of a web state on picosecond. What does that mean? That means if you use a nanosecond power, we can excite the chemical bond many, many times, more than once sometimes. And all the energy comes to heat, the heat will accumulate and will dissipate. The heat accumulation causes a substantial thermal length or thermal expansion of the particle, which gives a strong signal. The thermal diffusion caused is, a, is on the nanosecond scale, and which is responding to a, a few hundred nanometers. So that's why we can do high resolution imaging at the visible time detection limit. So now, in summary, over the past 25 years, advanced vacuum microscopes have been developed to do a stable free or die free imaging. The first category is called the coherent Raman scattering microscopy, which is based on cars and SIs that allow high speed imaging. Right? And the products are available now in many countries. The second category is based on photosynthetic microscopy, which is based on called mid infrared photosynthetic microscopy or stable Raman photosynthetic microscopy. This allows high speed imaging but with a much higher imaging speed. And finally, uh, thank you for staying here. And I have a take home message for you. A small seed can grow into a big tree. It takes years, and persistence is the key. And another one for you how to find a seed? Pay attention to an unexpected thing. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much. So this concludes our session. I'd like to thank all of the speakers, technical staff, and very close to this meeting for all of you that you made this session happen. Thank you very much.